Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank People today on World of Warships console. That's right, boys and girls. We're back on here and we're covering the tier 3 Japanese Tech Tree Cruiser, the Kuma class cruiser. I mean, does she look like a good ship? I don't really know about that. I mean, she does get, looks like she gets a biplane, which could be used as a spotter. But what we're mostly going to do, like we mostly do in these ship reviews, tank reviews, we're usually going to be doing the review of the vehicle and then taking on to a gameplay, seeing how it works, and then, yeah, that's basically it. Doing some of the stats and a few other things, and uh, yeah, what's right into there, guys? And first of all, it does lead on to the Tier 3 Battleship and the Tier 4 Cruiser for the Imperial Japanese. What I put as my modifications, I could put Main Battery Mod 2. Uh, main battery re traverse speed is 15% and main battery reload time is 5% which means I can get my guns flying as quickly as you expect them to be as a cruiser and stuff like that. You get HE, AP and torpedoes. You get a damage control bar. Consumer duration 5 seconds, reload time is 60 seconds. You get a number unlimited of them. And again, it get a Sorry for that, guys. You get a sonar. Uh, torpedo detection range is 2.5 kilometers. Detection of the, your ships. Detect, detect, detection of ships is 3.5 kilometers. Consumer duration 92.7 seconds. Time reload time is 153 seconds, and you get four of these. This you want to get them on one of these. Oh, the catapult fighter. Uh, consumer duration 100 seconds, reload time is 80 seconds, and number of these is only two. Uh, which you could use these uh, basically to either spot a little bit or basically use them to fight against other enemy aircraft like uh, aircraft carriers, aircraft, and stuff like that. Survivability hit points is 24,200. The main armed batteries is 140mm third year type guns. She so gets seven of these. Firing range is 12.6 kilometers, reload time is 6.3 seconds, and turning time is 18.4 seconds. Max AG shared damage is 2,400. Fire setting chance is 20%. And max AP shared damage is 2,700, which is a way a lot more than the HE, but the HE is for more catching battleships on fire and doing big damage to destroyers, like fighting on ships, like the destroyers and stuff. But it's probably where the torpedoes is probably where it's at. Even though this is not a destroyer, torpedoes are pretty much really good on Japanese ships. They are the 533 mirror doubled. Uh, you get four of these. Remember, you only get four launchers, not the, uh, the tubes. It's this tiny with the launchers. Lead load time is 42 seconds. Turning time is 7.2 seconds. And max damage is 10,833, which is the most damage you're probably going to get out of this ship. Otherwise the guns, but which the guns only do like 2,000 damage per sh shot, which is not that bad. Uh, torpedo detection range by sea is 1.2 kilometers. Torpedo range is 7 kilometers. And torpedo speed is 7 57 knots. Pretty speedy. The AA defense, she only gets two of them. Thir the first one is a 13 meter type 93, two of those. Average damage per second, 5. Firing range is 1.2 kilometers. The next one is the 25 meter Type 96 Mod 1s. Um, six of these, average damage per second, 30. Firing range, 3.1 kilometers. And then you got the max speed of the ship, 36.8 knots. Turning circle is 640 meters, and rudder shift time is 5.1 seconds. You got the detectability range by sea is 9.5 kilometers. After firing your main batteries from the sea is 12.6 kilometers, and when the ship is on fire, 11.5 kilometers. Detectability by air is 5.7 kilometers. After firing your main batteries is 8.5 kilometers, and when the ship is on fire, 8.7 kilometers. Run detectability range is 2 kilometers, and while firing in smoke is 4.2 kilometers. The armor, well, I mean, it's a pretty interesting spot, but we'll also get to the side of the ship, which if you watch my last ship review, which was, hang on, sorry for that guys, if you heard that in the background, I'm checking what type of ship was that I did last time, I I don't remember which one, and that was a Japanese ship, and I uh, just don't remember the name of the ship, 
uh, let's see, the Yobori, Yobori ship, which we did see on that ship review, it still though sits right above the borderline, right above it. Uh, let's see if that same thing happens to this ship, because if it does, you can't give your breath side at all with this ship, even if you're trying to angle against battleships, you're more likely still going to get your broadside caught, but we'll see. First of all, the bottom is 15 meters thick, 4 end plates is 10, the 4 end deck is 10, the 4 end outward ship is also 10, bottom is 15, 4 end plating is 10, the 4 end deck is 10. Yeah, basically a lot of 10s. The cooling tower bottoms is 13, cooling tower sides is 51, which looks like it's the most thickest armor you're going to have. That's the point. Queen tower top is 25. Side plates, 10. Top side plates are also 10. The front tool plates is 25. Side plates are 25. Top plates are 25. The Citadel Arthur ship is 40. The Citadel armored belt is 65, which that's actually even more than the 51, so actually that's going to be the highest number. So far, the Citadel bottom is 35. Citadel deck is 30, and the Citadel Earthward ship is 40, Citadel plates is 25, uh, yeah, so basically, this is going to be the most armor you're going to have on the ship, at that. <laughs> but let's look at where the Citadel sits, and, oh, my bad, I, I made a big oopsies, uh, no, that's not what I want, that's what I want, that's, no. Uh, yeah, okay. That's the Citadel there, guys. You can see the Citadel actually sits right right above the waterline. More than what you expect it to. It's about the same on the Yorbori. Um, which was the last ship I did the ship review on. The Tier 3 Japanese, Imperial Japanese cruiser. Uh, premium Tier 3 cruiser. S Citadel set. I think I, about this, too. If you could, could remember where the Citadel sat. So, yeah, that's a big oopsie, and if... I don't know if any armor piercing from any battleships could overpen, but if they could, they could definitely see your Del U. But if not, don't give your broadside. side. Just like the Yobari, do not give your broadside side, because if you do, you're just gonna be citadel if they aim in the center mass of your ship, which doesn't seem like a bad, good idea for any contenders. But, you're probably wondering, where's the torpedo sort of tank? Well, okay, you get a launcher right here, which comes with two tubes, so that's two. And another tube right here, so that's four torpedoes on one side. And there's one right here, and one right here. So, basically, all together, it can launch torp four torpedoes on port and starboard side. So, yeah, all together, that's... I guess I'm trying to add it up for here. For you, uh, I'm not great with math. <laughs> I'm horrible with math. But you got four, and plus another four. Yeah, around eight torpedoes. But that's only eight torpedoes altogether. So basically, only four torpedoes on port and starboard, meaning you can't get any more torpedoes out at that. And the guns, you got two in the front right here, one on the left. I think this is the left. Well, one on this side. One, two, three in the middle of the ship, in the rear of the ship, and press one on this side as well. So that's all seven of your guns, and they only have one gun each. So, yeah. And as you can see, this forward gun right here, both of these gun turns don't have the greatest turning area, because one's sitting right behind the other one. So, yeah. That's not great for that gun. Uh, these ones back here, they're alright, I guess. And, yeah, I think that's... Ba oh, wait, let's, let's not forget about the captain. Um, first of all, he has Clemson. Cruiser uh, detectability range is 3.6 kilometers. He has it burn it down XXL. Chance of HG shells causing fires, 2%. Then I have full speed ahead. Uh, max cruiser speed is 3%. Rudder shift time, 5%. Then I have sponge. Uh, incoming damage for cruiser 3%, and armored, armored HP 8%, and armored repair time 
8%. And then I have Acoustic Charm, Sonar Cooldown Time is 15%, Sonar Duration 3%, and Sonar Charge is 1%. Then his Legendary Perk is fully packed. Cooldown for time for all consumables is 0%. Consumable Charge is 1%. Cooldown for all consumables is 3%. But this is when it's active when allies are at least 1.5 kilometers in range of your ship. Now, if anything else, I'll probably put torpedo detection range, uh, which is pretty decent. Um, maybe incoming damage to your ship. Uh, you always want to make sure your cruisers don't take as much damage as possible. Uh, that's why I pick sponge, but if not sponge, be fortified because incoming damage to your ship, it just it depends on what level your captain is. It would be right now for me two percent. So, yeah. But you know what? I think that's enough to talk about the ship and the port, guys. Let's take her out. Let's see what she can do, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. So we're back, guys, on Star Start 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 Oh my gosh, I'm probably going to butcher that name. <laughs> oh well, we're on the stairs map, as I'm going to call it from now on. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely on well, this map, and we're bottom tiered. Uh, I mean, this game could have been worse, I guess, maybe? Well, you're going to find out what I mean as that. Because, well, mostly I try to bring in decent games, at least, where you're not seeing the majority of gameplays of me. I guess you could say cherry picked games. Even though the stream I did not too long ago with World of Tanks console was mostly not cherry picked. It was the full stream. Um yeah, I completely did a very long stream with World of Tanks. But I'm gonna be doing other streams in on Twitch and mostly bring it to YouTube. But we'll see what happens in the future of streaming. Uh for now we got this gameplay to worry about, and for now, we got to worry about what are we going to be doing. Because if we give too much broadside and the enemy knows about it, we are definitely going to be punished. But we do spot an enemy ship, and it's that battleship over there. It looks like I think that could be the new British Tier 3 Premium Battleship that they entered in the game where you could have gotten it for free. If you would just log in and do daily rewards, which kind of, in a way, sucked to most players, uh, what I've heard from uh, Facebook, there was a lot of players didn't like the idea of it, and to be honest, it was not the best. I was expecting it to be where maybe if you would have probably missed something, you could have like completed the next day. They could have given like a little bit more longer to complete a mission. Um, but we'll talk about that in a future video. For now, we're trying to shoot up the Kongsberg, a German cruiser. But a good cruiser that is, too. It's actually one of my favorite Tier 4 German cruisers. Well, it's actually the only German cruiser. But I guess if you also want to count the new battle cruisers that finally came out of Ari Axis, yeah, we finally got those. Plus a new Tier 8 premium battleship. Or is it a cruiser for Russia? No, nah, I don't know. But we see a destroyer over here, so we're thinking about launching torpedoes. But I decided not to launch torpedoes. So I decided to launch a catapult plane. So that way, maybe if my catapult plane can see it, and then also put up my sonar, so that way I can see torpedoes come in this case. If they do start coming this way, me and my battleship friend can actually see the torpedoes before they actually hit. But we do see a Italian battleship, the. Gallo Escape Escape uh, boy, I'm probably going to be butchering that name too uh, Real badly when I get to the ship review of that That's the, I think, the tier 4 premium Italian battleship that we get out of um, The crate opening video But we do get spotted here Because of the destroyer Destroyer is inside the cap circle So it's being contested by me And a battleship Two battleships I think And also that destroyer uh, we're all in here. We are making sure we keep up the fire on this cruiser. It doesn't really seem like I'm doing much of actually hitting anything. So I was, I was probably thinking, well, maybe this wasn't going to be a good game to put on YouTube. But I decided to put it on YouTube because even though at the start it doesn't seem like it's going to be good enough, 
We get only one gun pointed this way at the same ship we're playing the Kuma class cruiser. That shotgun doesn't even hit. So I'm a little bit more different this time. Does this shot even hit? It does hit. But before we get any more shots onto that guy, he gets taken out by my team. I mean, going in like that as a cruiser was a suicide mission anyways. Because mostly this game is made of battleships, uh, not too many cruisers. So it's that cruiser plus me, and that's it. Besides two destroyers, one on the enemy team, one on my team, and two carriers, which again, one on my team, one on the enemy team. And we see this Drifa Legion, uh, which is, I th believe it or not, it's the new German battle cruisers that just came out very access. Uh, we put a decent good HE show damage towards him. His secondaries are trying to open up on me, which they're pretty freaking decent. Um, we do see the Italian battleship going that way. He's leaving his ba German battlecruiser friend here to die. So we are definitely taking advantage of hitting the Italian battleship because we can shoot him. We put a decent hit on him. One, two, one penetrating shot. The other one not so good. And we put a fire on him. Nice. And we're starting to back out, but... Well, he's starting to get out of our range of our guns. That round, only two shatters. I'm trying to put my secondaries on this guy, but I forgot there is no really secondaries, is there? As I can remember calling from back into the port, there was none of the secondaries. And so, we were trying to do it. <laughs> and I stopped trying to because I finally realized there was no secondaries. So we're starting to shoot up this German battlecruiser. He's very low in hit points. Hoping my battleship friend right there can actually hit the guy. I can't hit that destroyer or they're over there on the other side because he just isn't in range for my guns. And we do putting some decent shots on this uh, German battlecruiser. Two penetrating shots. And one shatter, not so good. We're expecting maybe the destroyer comes out, but we put another shot into the Deflender uh, German battlecruiser. One sh two shatters, and I'm expecting this destroyer to come out over here, but that battleship friend over there is not going to survive against three ships shooting him at once. And yep, he's dead, he's down for the count. And we are already down one, two, three, four ships, and they're down only three ships. Two cruisers, actually, wait, there was another cruiser in the enemy team, never mind. And one on my team. So there was actually four cruisers. I'm mistaken that. I'm sorry for that, guys. At the time, I wasn't thinking about it, too. But, you know, now I see it. And now we, uh, we see the Japanese destroyer. What I should have done right here, though, instead of launching torpedoes, I should have just shot shooting at the thing. I probably would have killed it. But we didn't. So we mistakenly would have probably lost this world destroyer. Did we get it, though? We do have a decent rate of fire because of my modification. We do knock out its engine. Oh, here we go. Is he going to die? I uh, nope. Left on very low hit points and survived. Destroyers are the most dangerous ship in the whole game. And if you need to, if you're a cruiser, your job is to take out that destroyer. There, I, what I should have done, should have launched torpedoes that, knowing it probably would have been way faster of just shooting it than shooting my torpedoes. I made that mistake, and I think maybe that mistake would come back and haunt me into this game. But, for now, I'm trying to get over here. Not rising, I have a friend on my side of my ship. And I'm trying to get over here to shoot this guy, hope to kill him. At least we could get rid of him. We're definitely low on hit point, I mean, points, but we accidentally run into the battleship. I didn't realize he was that close, or else I would have turned, but that's why I slowed down. And now realize his secondaries are open firing. That meant the Italian battleship is there, and he hits me and sidles me. His secondaries catches me on fire, knocks out my torpedo tubes. I start nosing him. He's trying to hit my side because... He probably knows as well as I do that he can definitely citadel me. So I'm coming in for a torpedo run. I'm close enough. I launched my first two torpedoes. Launched my second two. His main batteries are still reloading. And boom. Three torpedo hits. Kills that enemy Italian battleship. But I don't want to exit the capture cap. Because I rise. 
we're definitely low in points by five points and by capturing this point we could probably get up there but even by capturing this point it's not going to help us they are still up by four ships one carrier two battleships and that destroyer that I did not got the kill I, that's kind of coming back and haunting me at this at the point of trying to capture this area because I realized with that destroyer alive my remaining battleship friends are in risk of being killed and even though we captured this point the enemy team still does seem like they're very very head in points the only way we're going to get a point lead if we kill somebody else not even one kill we need to kill at least another maybe two more ships and there is one of the battleships I'm not sure what type of battleship that is I think that's British uh, yeah, British premium battleship not sure is that the premium battleship that you can get in the uh, sea, the uh, reward? I don't know. Remember the name of the ship because I didn't get my hands on it sadly, uh, because I had other things I was doing too. Uh, so I wish that maybe that would have been different, where this mission could have been completed on your own time instead of war gaming's time. Um, even if I would have signed in and done it completed, it would would have been too late and the mission. Would have already it skipped, skipped, and gone to the next mission. So it really wouldn't matter. But we do see a enemy Texas, or no, not Texas, New York. But it's still a, a basically a Texas class battleship. We start shooting right here. We do get spotted, temporary because we are spotting, shooting in the open. But we get behind this iron. I'm starting to slow down because I want to get rid of this guy. If we could kill this guy, we could be head on points. And the damage is stacking up, 32,000 damage, not bad in a tier 3 cruiser. But this battleship is pointing over this way, we do set him on fire, that's good, that's going to be even burn. And my friendly battleship, the Russian battleship, the Polovolinsky. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong, if I am, please let me know. Um, takes him out, good. But... We are now up to 770 points, so that means we're head on points now. Oh. Okay, maybe my big mouth. Uh, the enemy team, oh, never mind. The enemy team is now definitely head on points. 785 points. We're at 780. Now that I'm at 80 points, I was beginning to think, we're not going to get able to catch up to the enemy team. They don't have to fight back. All they have to do is do nothing. They could just completely do nothing and just keep on selling the opposite way where we're selling from and just wait out for the timer or wait till they get more points than we do because they are ahead of points around 50 points more than we do even though they have two capture points and we're about to capture our second point we're definitely going to lose if we don't kill anybody else up to 34,000 damage though not bad for a tier 3 ship especially a cruiser that with its citadel being above the waterline being where the enemy ships could definitely hit you and hurt you very very badly we do capture our second point with the polo of Vinsky and then began thinking I haven't seen a single aircraft so where is the aircraft and where is the aircraft carrier is he sailing with his friends or is he AFK because I had, don't re recall seeing any on the side of the map I was on I don't know if there was any on the other side of the map. I didn't see anything replicating it on the mini map or anything like that. I'm going forward because I'm going for C. But I was racing to capture the uh, the points above, and I was thinking, there's no time. We don't have enough points. Then I spotted something, and before I could ever get my guns onto it, it was the carrier. A defeat. But. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.